Hey guys, this is my showcasing video for my 1 to 100 Lancegeist full kit scratch build. I'm going to be showing off the kit, the inner frame, the transformation from humanoid to jet mode. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys like it. Just so you know, everything is scratch built, including the base, the inner frame of the kit. Every part is scratch built. Everything I sculpted myself, to cast myself, and designed myself to begin with. Um, the kit is fully articulated. Uh, everything bends, moves, uh, and it supports itself on the stand if you have the stand on underneath the kit. But uh, yeah, right there you'll see the hull cutter rifle or cannon, um, the legs with the vents, the beam sabers coming out in the extended mode, the turrets. Uh, the knees, the toes, um, the wings and the jet nose folded back in the backpack, the shoulders extended upwards. And this is the jet mode, or burn mode as I call it. Uh, the backpack wings obviously open up, the jet nose folds down, the hull cutter cannon rests on top of the nose. Uh, the feet fold up and then the knees bend backwards so that the knees and the upper shins become the afterburners. Um, the main crotch armor folds up to become the tail fin. The shoulders fold down to just kind of angle beneath the wings. And uh, the arms just fold to the side. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's all a pretty fluid motion too. You don't no no paint will get scratched from the transformation that I know of. <laughs> Um, nothing should get damaged while moving everything around. Everything has uh, screws and nuts to hold everything together. Um, at least the heavy joints, the joints that will take most of the stress. Um, the, some of the smaller joints, you know, are just peg joints or ball joints, but uh, everything else should be pretty simple and uh, pretty strong. The armor just slides onto the main frame and I'll show off the inner frame in, uh, in just a minute here. I'm going to back up to get a better view of just how large this thing is. Yeah. And uh, most of the parts did come out really well from the casting. Everything's shiny. Um, with Just like with any resin kit, there's a few minor defects you're going to have to clean up from the sprue and from the pouring, but besides that, it's pretty excellent so far. And this is the jet with the hull cutter removed, so you can see the basic shape of the jet. Um, you can see the hole cutter mounts by those two pegs on top, which is the same peg formation that it uses to mount to the arms. Um, that little slit that you see on the nose of the jet on both sides will actually be a clear cast piece, so the jet nose will have a clear cast lens on it. Um, there's the rear thrusters, the knees, the turrets. Here's the hole cutter cannon itself. I'm just showing off some of the details. Um, I mean, to be honest, the scope's my favorite part. I think that's kind of neat. Um, but, uh, <laughs> of course, I should I have made it, but hopefully you guys like it too. Um, the cooling lines for the, the, uh, the gun itself, some of the stabilizers, a uh, little fin canard in the front, um, long barrel. Um, yeah. I and mean, the gun's made up of a lot of parts too. I mean, it's between nine and I think like nine parts. Here's the inner frame, um, just so you can see how the, the structure of the kit goes. Um, the toes bend um, to fold up. They also go sideways, so you know the kit can stabilize itself. Uh, ball joints on the hips. The tail fin bends back. Uh, the shoulders have full rotation. The elbows have uh, a limited rotation, but they do have a rotation. The hands are ball joints. The, the proxy head that you see right there is just an alternate head in case you just want to build the frame up without the armor on it. You have to replace it with the other head if you have all the armor on the kit. Um, there's the backpack slot. Um, yeah. And all the stronger joints are reinforced by screws, so they can hold the weight pretty well. Uh, the kit in general, I think, is about 150 parts. I could be wrong about the number. I'll calculate it again before they go on sale, but... Um, the beam sabers that you see popped out just come out of a little peg and there's an alternate hand that can hold it and there's a clear beam saber part that will actually be the beam saber blade cast in clear resin. Um, 
Um, yeah. Just so you can see the un underside of where the, the tail fin actually rotates up. Um, yeah, it's actually, all the joints are pretty stiff too, so. And if they're not, you know, you can always use thin plastic cement and uh, tighten them up a little bit. All right. Well, uh, that's about it for the kit. Uh, here's a picture just to show you the rough size of it in my hand. Um, it's a pretty heavy kit. Um, pretty soon, hopefully, I'll have everything ready to go so I can start selling the kits. Um, all the molds are pretty much made now, except for one. Um, so now I just need to, you know, make a few casts to get together to sell. They'll be roughly $100 US, and you have to pay for your own shipping wherever you want it shipped to. Um, but we can quote that at the time of sale. So, um, if you like this, I suggest you guys just uh, send this video to anyone you think might like it. And always feel free to visit my blog at wwwhanger 3 at blogspot.com. I'll leave a, a link in the description below and a QR code at the end of the video if you just want to scan it and go there. Um, thanks for your time, guys.